god, what? What? Why did that do so much damage? No, it's not over yet. I have nothing. No one at all. It's so much damage, man. Oh my, I can't get over that. That I'm gonna see it destroyed, no matter what. Shokun is on his knees, and he desperately tries to regain his feet by leaning on his swords, his face contorted in pain. The dangerous aura I felt from him before the battle isn't weakening. On the contrary, it's becoming stronger. Shokun, do you really think you were alone? Of course I was. What do you know? I was always... No, Shokun. You were never alone. <laughs> There's more in that file. Do you remember why you went into that coma? How should I know? I took the medicine Ikutsuki gave me, went into a machine, and... It was an experiment Ikutsuki set up to erase Minazuki-kun. Dad... tried to erase him? Why? After oh. transplant in the Plume of Dusk, you didn't awaken to a persona. Ikutsuki's plan was already a bust at that point. But after a while, Ikutsuki learned there was another personality in you, inside the Plume of Dusk. <sighs> that was the change in you. At first, it seems like Ikutsuki was interested in that other you, too. But the new Play you the was file, then. and wouldn't listen to what Ikutsuki said at all. That other you awakened to a persona, destroyed the test facility, and then tried to kill Ikutsuki. Huh? Bullshit! That's not true! Why would he try to kill my dad? You really can't figure it out? Minazaki was trying to protect you. <laughs> Shokun can only find a connection with other people by hurting them. As a result, that distanced him from everyone. Feeling that the world had rejected him, Shokun chose to destroy the world instead. But Minoski kun had supported Shokun through all of this. That other self said that he would fight for that boy. Minoski kun feels the same way Shokun does. The only way to do anything is through hurting others. But he's doing it to protect Shokun. He was still unstable then and got captured. After the captured. After that, Ikutsuki tried to erase Minazuki-kun while leaving the persona. Do you get it now, Shokun? It was Minazuki-kun and his... And you know what the right answer... And you know what the right answer is, seriously. I mean, come on. Power of a bond that supported you. You. That's bullshit. That's... That's not... Shokun clasps his head in his hands and falls to his knees. My heart hurts. This is Shokun's pain. <clears throat> Shokun's world consisted of being denied by everyone and only being accepted by the other person within him, Minazuki-kun. I mercilessly shattered that, and I'm trying to draw him into our own world, the real world. The world that is nothing but a place of fear to him. I know how difficult it is for him to accept it. What's this sob story going on over here? Here we go. <laughs> General Teddy suddenly appears behind Shokun. Something's not right. I never sense his presence here at all. General Teddy should be a fake version of Teddy, created from a shadow. I turn my senses toward him again, but that wrong feeling I sensed when I met him in the classroom has gotten even stronger. I can't, I can't put it into words, but it's a very ominous presence. Uh -huh. Has the stupid brat been beaten? You're disqualified from the P1 Climax! Now hurry up and get out of here! Kagutsuchi. Ah, uh, here we go. Kagutsuchi? General Teddy, so you really weren't... Oh, poor little shut-in Shochan. Was Labichan mean to you? Uh. Are you gonna have to go back to the hospital again? You don't Ooh. have to worry. Guess what? I'll set you free. <laughs> oh god, General here Teddy, we go. Step away from Shokun. <laughs> You're the champion of the P1 Climax, Labby-chan. Congratulations! But you already won it. 
How dare you? <laughs> oh shit. Your prize is death. General Teddy viciously grabbed Shokun by the head from behind, effortlessly lifting him up with one arm. Suspended in midair, Shokun's face cringes in pain. What unimaginable strength. Ah, Shokun! Who in the world are you? What are you gonna do with Shokun? <laughs> what am I going to do? Isn't, Isn't it, it obvious? obvious? I'm, I'm going, going to kill to... him. I'll, I'll grant, grant this brat what he wants. wants. A world of solitude. In hell. But I'll be the only one there. It will be a world all for myself, where only I exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. General Teddy's tone changes. An ominous and hatred-filled voice reaches my ears, echoing as if reaching me from the very depths of hell. I know this voice. When I was forced into sleep in the laboratory in Yakushima, I had a dream, and in that dream a voice echoed in my head. This voice tempted me to forget everything. This tempted me to forget everything. To shut myself away in a distorted world that reflected only my desires. It's that same voice. Tommy, are you? That's right. This red fog and the brat's power were on loan from me. At least you worked quite well for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, burn my dread. Last battle version playing. So the thing Minazuki kun was talking about waking at this tower is. <laughs> you finally figured it out. Fortunately, the Horde of Shadows to create a vessel and the Persona Fragments to control it have been gathered. All that's left I have to fight this stupid big ass thing again. And then devour the Persona Fragments to inhabit my new corporeal form. <gasps> I pay no heed to this. I am the collective will of those who abandon all connections and strive to live only for themselves. I am Murder, trample, and cast you humans down into the depths of despair. Uh -huh. My name is Hino Kagutsuchi. Kagutsuchi. One who kills all who live in this world. Here we go. Red Fog gushes like blood from the body of General Teddy. No, Hino Kazuzuchi. And it gets sucked in through Shokun's eyes, ears, mouth, and wounds. Ouch. As I try to rush towards them, the empty husk that General Teddy's body has become crumbles into a black lump of a shadow. At the same time, Shokun, or whatever he is now, turns his evil red gaze towards me. This power is immeasurably stronger than Shokun's or Minatsuki Kun's. My entire metal body shrieks as I'm twisted in directions that I was never meant to go. Don't worry. I will make you die so quickly. You will live to witness my advent and will be the first sacrifice to my house. I'll never let you do that! Give Shokun back! <laughs> Your nerve astounds me, but I wouldn't be so sure. Your allies are about to be overwhelmed by the flood of shadows. Well, that's their problem, I guess. So long within this red fog, just as I dream, you are exhausted to your very souls. You have no hope of defeating me now. Oh no, you're forgetting plot armor, my friend. The other tournament, and this one too. So you were the real one behind these battles! Yes, I needed a vessel. Had I taken the shadows for my own, their own wills would have made them less obedient than I required. I learned that in the previous battles. 
Thus did I prepare this fog and my new seed to carve away. Yeah, I'll give the guy credit. He pulled together this new plan insanely the fast. Of the suppressed strength of heart. Nothing is better suited to suppress the will of shadows than that. So that's why you made us fight! I glanced towards the crystal floating up above, so that's the collection of Persona fragments that had been carved away from us. And now enough of them have been gathered. This power will be what brings destruction upon this world, and is the final piece required to create the vessel for a god. <laughs> Oh, this cutscene. You know what's happening here. Now is the time for despair. <laughs> this new despair. <laughs> this new form that you have given me. You have given me. Behold it! Well, here we go. <laughs> and Cho died. Because he didn't max out his social link. A low-pitched laugh echoes across the area as a blast of heat rages from the enormous body that appears. A god that has manifested using shadows as his vessel. As I was created to be an anti-shadow weapon, I look on what could be considered my arch nemesis. Uh, th this can't be! A being that could incinerate the world. Its powers are so tremendous that it could perform such an outrageous deed. Its roar shakes the, shakes the air and there's a heat like scorching flame. My sensors show that it's fully manifested. At this rate, I'll be destroyed by it as well. But as I recoil in trepidation, mysterious voices unlike those in normal persona communications echo through me. Labrys, don't give up! We're all cheering you on! Labrys, leave this place to us. Once this is all over, we'll have a party and celebration. I'm positive you can do this, Labrys. We'll mm. take care of all these shadows. It's them social worry, links Labrys. maxing out. You're not alone. I close my eyes and imagine the faces of everyone I've met since my awakening. Everyone who had accepted me. Everyone who had given me a place to belong. And because everyone is fighting below me right now, I'm able to stand here. And this is all on you, Labrys. You promised that you'll come back no matter what. We won't lose! Labrys, please win this for us! We're counting on you, Labrys! Fuck off, Ken! Please protect our world! No! <laughs> we'll sacrifice you first. And then save the world. All the friends that I met and Inaba and my companions who trusted me to finish the job before me. Their voices give me strength. We'll make sure to hold them back here! You can win this, Labrys! Labrys, we're entrusting this to you. Our thoughts are with you. Let us handle things here. You have your own role to carry out. Don't you dare tell us that you're giving up on this now. We'll do our best to give you time. Labichan! Your knight is on your side! Get a grip, Labrys. We're fighting with you, too. Please win this, Labrys! Sister, we're all waiting for your return. Let's fight this together. It's okay. They might not be right next to me, but I can still sense them. I won't lose. Everyone is on my side. I'm not alone! Oh, this thing's gonna be a pain in the- Oh, this thing's gonna be a pain in the ass. I barely beat it with you, and you s a lot better than Labrys. What a Labrys. What a bit of Oh, we keep 
fucking up his attacks. 